Hello, and welcome to the intro to Healthcare IT uh, Workshop 1. Let's, let's get started. So this workshop is um, it's not really going to be formally structured. It's just going to be kind of off the cuff. I'm going to go with the flow. Um, what I want to do for this uh, tutorial here workshop is we're going to start from the beginning. We're going to um, we're going to download the or, uh, organic server, uh, the, um, the which is a lightweight Diacom server, and which we which kind of mimics uh, like a PAC server, so to speak. You, you, you can look at it as a PAC server, but a Diacom server is pretty much if you look back at the uh, the intro course refer or refer back to it. You'll see that the uh, you know the Diacom server or Diacom in general, which follows the Diacom is a, uh, di which is the uh, a standard form of communication. So this Diacom server will be able to um, will be able to what we want to do is we, we want to be able to mimic uh, send receive images um, and just kind of mimic some of the workflow that we saw from the from the intro, the intro course. So we're going to start from the very beginning. So, um, so actually, let me. Um, we're going to do this hands on. So you see. So I'm just going to actually. I only, I only have one monitor here. I'm only using one monitor. So I'm going to just going to escape here. And let's go right to it from the very beginning. We're going to we're going to walk through this process right now of installing the authentic server so if you follow me watch me do it and i want you to actually do this on your own laptop or computer so you can become this will help you become familiarized to apply the application to what you learn from the theory Okay, so we're going to come up here to Danic, and depending on what, you know, if you have uh, Windows or OS of, um, or a Mac, OS X, uh, I have a Windows, so I'm going to do Windows, and it's going to ask you to fill out a short, um, some information here so you can download it. You can stay with the default here, whatever they choose. So 64-bit, my OS is 64-bit here. So we're going to go ahead and fill out this information. Let's see here. Do we actually have to put in an address? No, we don't. Okay, so we're going to go. To my email. And I'm gonna just go to my email and download the uh, and download the executable. So just bear with me here, and I'm going to actually pause. Okay, so now I have the uh, executable downloaded, the authentic uh, executable downloaded here, and I'm gonna just go ahead and do a go through the install. Accept. Leave everything as standard the way it is. And this is because I already had a previous version here. Would you like to install it in the folder anyway? I'm going to say yes. 
Actually, I'm going to just go in. Just because I, I already had this previous installed, I'm going to just go in and delete it. You can leave everything as default. Let it install. It's a pretty quick setup. So, if we um, install is complete, you will notice that um, if you go into services, The install, it'll place in uh, uh, this uh, service, authentic service here, running, and it's, it'll set it up as running um, automatic. The startup type is automatic, and it's running. That lets you know that, that, your, Diacom's, that your Diacom server is actually uh, running at this moment in time, and, and, and this service needs to be running in order for your Diacom server to function properly, to function Okay, so now we have it installed. Um, if you wanted to, we'll skip this for a second, but if you wanted to, so this is the local host. Authentic Explorer Administration. Um, if we go and take a look. See if we can use. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I was still uh, still recording. I thought I, I thought I just messed up here. So let's go to. So this is the local host, um, which is default. So you'll see here that um, this is your administration, uh, your administration page from your local host on your computer or on your laptop using the following port number. Um, right now your uh, what it what it brings you know what it brings up is uh, you have no no patience right now. Um, we're gonna get some patience into our system a little later on. It gives you by default some plugins, optional plugins that they are um, Probably some of these pl plugins you have to purchase a license for. Um, you'll see one down here for that allows you to set up a modality work list, which would be pretty cool. Uh, maybe we, uh, if, if um, maybe later on in the courses, maybe we can test out the modality work list. But so those are the uh, optional plugins. Okay, it allows us to upload. If you wanted to, it gives us a message here. That's okay. Mozilla Firefox. We're not using Firefox. So the upload allows us to upload any Diacom files. You know, uh, here. If we wanted to, if we go back, and then we can also have the ability to query and retrieve. So what we're going to do in some of the later courses are, is we're going to set up a modality. Uh, we're going to set up a modality using our Diacom toolkit that we're going to get download later, and where we we'll be able to set up um, 
set it up to where the modality is listening on a certain port, and then we'll be able to, it'll show up in the list here, and then we'll be able to, uh, to do a query, maybe even, maybe even a retrieve. Yeah, we should be able to do a retrieve too as well. Um, then we can test echo, you know, which is a Diacom verify, which we saw earlier from our documentation, from our intro search studies. So this is the basics of what um, the uh, this authentic, this authentic uh, Diacom server allows you to do, which is uh, pretty cool. So let's go back here for here. If you wanted to look at the documentation for Authentic, excuse me, here's the, here's the uh, documentation. Um, if you wanted to use that or follow along with, 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 uh, with here, they, they have a quick start guide. that you can take a look at. And um, also, yeah, so they have a quick start guide that you can actually take a look at if you, if you wanted to follow along. Now, we have the local host. Now you will see, um, we'll skip, come back to that for a second. The defaults, um, we, know, we know that the three parts th that, um, that you need in order to identify a medical, a, um, a Diacom device, AE title, AE title port number, uh, excuse me, a title port and, and IP address. So the defaults for the for the authentic AE title is is authentic, all, and it's a the AE title is case sensitive. It's always case sensitive. So it's in all caps, and then a port number default port number is forty two forty two. And and so we can actually take a look at the. You can actually take a look at the uh, configuration file for Authentic. This is the location for Windows. So in, in, in order to look at that, we want to use Notepad++, which I don't have, so we need to install that. So I want to actually go to... I'm going to just go and get the link from here. So let's go to Notepad++. Okay, and if you go to that link here, you'll go to, go to download. And download here 32 bit. Looks like the only okay, they have a 64 bit. So if you have 64 bit, use that. If you only have 32 bit, use that. But um, 32 bit or 64 bit OS operating system. So we're going to use um, 64 bit zip package. Okay, so it downloaded, and we're going to go ahead and install that. Now 
And you can just use the, the, the uh, defaults for Notepad++. And again, I, I enjoy using Notepad++ because it just uh, enables you to open up multiple different file formats. It's pretty cool. All right, so we have it installed. So now if we go back to the location, we want to look at, we want to take a look at the configuration file. Where was it here? One second, while I fix my battery. Okay, all right, so now we're going to Authentic Server Configuration, and it should be this one here, Authentic. Edit with Notepad++. So let's just take a look. So in this, um, configuration file, you'll find a lot of information about the your authentic server, but the one where we want to look for is the defaults. Here you'll find the Diacom application entity title, AE authentic, which, and then the Diacom port. So which we can change these. Um, in which we will change these in in in, uh, in future videos. We will change these. So, what else good do we have here? We have a lot of good stuff here, um, but this is where the configuration file is located at. So you'll know. Okay. Um, so that's where you got your a title, your port number. And then they also the HTTP port should have been also in there somewhere too as well. Yeah, HTTP port, where where the uh, organic administration page listens on. You can change that port too as well. So that concludes just the general install uh, of organic your Diacom server. Uh, install also installing Notepad plus plus. Also, just knowing where the actual um, configuration file for Authentic uh, uh, server lives. And then also, um, yes, so that's it with that. And then we'll continue on with future videos. Thank you.